Yes, of course it worked. I'm already on to the next problem. Which is? Well, the uh, sensors are having a hard time determining what it is, probably due to the Doppler effect. What, what is? I'm detecting a foreign object traveling at point nine 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 speed of light. And it's coming this way. We have a contact, sir. It's Colonel Shepard back from Earth. Colonel Shepard, welcome back to the middle of nowhere. Thank you, Colonel. I've got a uh, takeout pizza for everyone back in Atlantis. With your permission, I'd like to uh, upload the macro and dial out before it gets cold. Negative. We're putting that leg of the trip on hold for now. Seems like we're expecting company. Believe it or not, moving that fast while an incredible feat of technology isn't very useful, certainly in comparison to travel through hyperspace. Now, moving as fast as it is, this ship, assuming it is a ship, would still take at least a million years just to reach the Milky Way. Well, that close to the speed of light, don't you have to take relativity into account? Exactly. The people on board, assuming that they are people, would only experience maybe 12 years, so a few stasis chambers, they're laughing. I mean, they're not laughing, they're unconscious, but, uh, you know, metaphorically. So, assuming it's a ship, and assuming they're people... What do we do about them? Ah, well, we uh, try to make contact, obviously. How do you propose we do that? Pull up, honk the horn, try to get them to roll down their window. I'm talking about attempting to match their speed. This ship is not designed to do that. Well, we can't. I mean, even if we succeeded, we'd still be subject to the same time dilation effects. We'd be out of contact with Earth and Atlantis for, what, years. Can't we overtake them with our hyperdrive? Yes, but they would blow right past us as soon as we drop back into normal space because our sublight engines are incapable of accelerating to anywhere near the speed of light. So uh, we max out the sublight engines, get as close as we can get. Hmm. Yes, I mean, that, that might work. Um, we should at least be able to stay in range long enough to get some sensor readings, yeah. Do it. I'll let Atlantis know you're gonna be late. Um, did you really get pizza for everyone? Because it would be a shame for that to go to waste if we're gonna, um... Yeah, okay, so solve this first and then... We've got just about everything we're gonna get out of the sublight engines. They're gonna fly by us in three, two, one. Interesting. What? If these readings are correct, and to be perfectly fair, they may not be. Rodney. It's an ancient warship. It's possibly Aurora class. Who's flying it? I would imagine ancients. Well, there hasn't been any of them around for over 10,000 years. <sighs> Relativity. Look, remember, for them, only a handful of years have passed. Our ships have hyperdrives? Well, maybe their hyperdrive was damaged in the battle with the Wraith. It happens with us all the time. I mean, maybe it, um, it conked out on the way, and they were forced to continue it as close to light speed as possible. That would explain how they got a million light years away from Pegasus without having to leave a million years ago. You know their subspace drive specs better than I do, Doctor, but I'm not sure an Aurora-class ship has the power to do what you're suggesting. Well, maybe they have a ZPM. That would be worth finding out. Okay, we need to send them a message before they get out of range and we have to jump ahead. Uh, something like, uh, you know, we are humans from Earth, currently occupying Atlantis, uh, yada, yada, yada. Why don't we just ask them to slow down? Colonel Caldwell, the unidentified vessel is slowing down. Maybe they heard me. Well, they saw us. And they're not just slowing down. I mean, they're slamming on the brakes something like 27 Gs. So now what? Unknown vessel. I'm Captain Healy of the Lantean warship Tria. Our ship has suffered damage. We've scanned your vessel and determined that it is capable of hyperspace travel. We've begun deceleration maneuvers. Will you render assistance in the form of hyperspace transport? Well, yes. Yeah, yes, of course we will. I don't think she can hear you. Open a channel. This is Colonel Stephen Caldwell of the Earthship Daedalus. It would be an honor to render assistance in any way we possibly can. We're going to meet ancients. I mean, flesh and, and blood ancients who know what everything is and how everything works. I, mean, I don't even know what to ask first. Well, it's going to be a couple hours before we can match velocities for transport. That should give you enough time to write out that list. <laughs> 